So, happy Saturday. Let's play some Star Sector here. Okay, so this is where we left off last week. Uh, this is Darth Gimpy, uh, employee of the Empire, currently level was it 17. Um, normally you can't get up past level 15 without a mod, which of course I'm using. If you'd like to see the mods I'm using, just type in exclamation point star sector mod in chat, and the bot will send you a bunch of whispers, letting you know what mods I'm currently using. Not a lot, but um, enough to not have uh, put it into a chat there. <clears throat> I feel like I literally said they would not date a gamer because they don't do anything else. Go figure, I was playing volleyball, competitive else at the time. Yeah, that's a good one too. Gamers don't do anything. Non human piece of trash which lost all its sense and lost three frank. Liking nerd stuff. <laughs> Wasn't a stigma in Poland, Blue Girls? Really? Yeah, weird. Anyway, so let's continue on here. So again, uh, let's see. We're currently working on the orange line up here, the combat line, to get Gimpy better at uh, being a ship commander. So I'm gonna work on this other stuff soon because I think we might uh, be starting up a um, colony later on today. At least one, I think. So our current fleet, we have uh, 27 ships, a bunch of military. The biggest ship we have is an Imperial One Star Destroyer. Then we've got, as you can see, three Victory Star Destroyers, a couple of uh, Pro Crusader uh, Imperial Star Destroyers, which are basically cruisers in this game. Um, they, a couple of missile launchers, mostly, they're mainly a gunship with a couple of missile launchers, no fighters for them. And then we have the Tom Falk uh, Escort Carriers. These each have uh, five, four, sorry, four squadrons. They all have the same loadout. Looks like a TIE Defender. Uh, bombers and all kind of fun stuff. Then we have a Dreadnought Heavy Cruiser. Then we have these uh, Mont Calamari Frigates MC-30Cs that we uh, salvaged um, from combat. Oh, that reminds me. Um, we're allowed to buy ships that this Empire sells, but we're not allowed to buy ships from anybody else. But we can't salvage ships. Hence, that's how we got these Mont Calamari Cruisers. Why these ones in particular? Because they are nasty missile boats. So we picked up three of those, and these are more carriers. These are just bulk carriers, uh, Quasar class. These guys were slowly phasing out in uh, in for replacement by the Tom Fox because Tom Fox is just better. Uh, they have more weapon hard points, that kind of stuff. Same amount of fighters they carry, but they have a few more points to work with and that kind of stuff. And then we have the Marauders. Again, these are rebel ships, technically Old Republic, actually. They're missile uh, frigates. And then we have these. Uh, New Republic, these are the Corellian gunships in other games, but the actual numbers are DP-20s. Um, but uh, you'll see them in other video games as uh, Corellian gunships. And again, we salvage those. And this is an actual Imperial ship here that we salvaged, uh, Tartan-class uh, patrol cruiser, which we will be uh, replacing these guys with eventually. And these are civilian ships. These are um, these are some of the Star Wars super, uh, super freighters, heavy super freighters. Primarily, uh, just came for cargo, and then we picked up one of these recently. This is a tanker, so not too bad there. Lots of space triangles, yes. Hey, Calfac, welcome back. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be phasing out these uh, these carriers for these as we run into these. We're going to afford to buy them and go from there. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, what did I, I was thinking about some, something about. I think we're comparing the the Imperial One versus the Imperial Two, and the hard points are about the same as far as weapons and stuff. And then it occurred to me the other day, the di main difference between them isn't how many hard points they have; it's the operation points, which determines how many big guns they have. Because this thing's actually struggling. To get the big guns on because it doesn't have a whole lot of operating points to play around with. And also the main difference between the the larger Star Destroyers compared to the Super Star Destroyers. Again, it's all about the operation points and that determines the big guns you get to use. So in this case, this doesn't have lots of uh, big guns, but enough. So, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so we have a huge fleet tender. That would be that thing. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. Okay, so that. Um, oh, where are we? Oh, this is Coruscant. Guess I should see what kind of stuff we can buy. Ah, that's right, the Super Star destroyed the Asserter. Which technically I can't afford, but I don't want an Asserter right now. Acclimators aren't too bad. But again, we're looking more for... Where's, they're not here. Uh, then we have this, the Gladiator class carrier. This one is for fighter bays. So this is actually the the upgrade over the Tom Falk too, I think. I don't think Tom Falk is this because this is an actual This is a destroyer. You can tell it's a destroyer size class based on its uh, sensor strength. It's only sixty. So that's thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty. So destroyers too. Oh, these ones have probe droids that we haven't seen yet. Deploy probe droids to capture a battle objective. So it's what, two, six, and four. This is four, six, oh, this has got way more guns. Should pick one of these up. Book video game hybrid nerds. If any of them goes to the Star Wars convention, the world will end. That's not true. Anyway, we're going to buy this. And then once we do that, we're going to take um, this one and strip it. Then sell it while I'm thinking about it. this thing in here. Does it have an auto fit already? It does. So I'll auto fit this just to get stuff on it for now. So it's got the laser cannons, blah, blah, blah. Quad turbo lasers out here. These are decent guns, decent range. Damage isn't the best. Batman ship? Eh, kinda. You can, can you see the face? If you can see the face now, you will never unsee it. Okay, so these we want... Um, TIE Defenders. Down here is where we want the Bombers, which are Interdictor Bombers. I might have been putting on these guys up here. So they want Avengers and Oppressors. Oh, I'd be K-Wings in there. <laughs> oh, I think we had the K-Wings because we didn't have enough... Uh... I'm, I'm up, where is it? So we did have... Hmm. Don't have enough oppressors. Is that what it was? I guess we did. That's over. So two sets of bombers: the oppressor light bomber with the interdictor bomber. Again, we're trying to stick with with uh, tie fighters on the on just to stick with the theme here because yeah. Some of our ships have K-Wings, which will technically belong to the Republic, and the only reason for that is because we don't have enough interdictors, bombers here. We need to find more of these. So, yeah. Anyway. So what I'm going to do here is throw in some uh, good stuff like um, deflector shields. No, not deflector shields, not yet. 
We want um, reinforced bulkheads. Let me build those in. Again, using our story points to put in permanent additions into the hull that can never be removed. And what that does for us is use up, frees up some points here. To get rid of all these for now. So that, expanded deck crew. Deflector shields. Cover shuttles what we have. Okay. So, and then we just build in this stuff for the points, get the points back. No, actually, not that one yet. We need a um, hyperdrive. Six points. Now it's deflective shield. Did I take the deflector shield off like a dummy? I did. Okay, so I want to build that in to get the points back. You can only do up to maximum of three. Technically, you start at two, and then with skills, as you level up, you can get up to three. So, that. Nice. Capacitors. So, gun-wise, I'd rather have... The quad lasers, but I don't think we have enough of those. And if we do, we got 11 bucks. Let's get to these guys. So this is point defense stuff to shoot down missiles and fighters. Whatever. Should be all of them. Come no, on. it could, could tone down Pansy. these guys. Get back in there and fight. These are 125. I know ion cannons on this don't really need it. Tri turbo lasers, blah blah, octuples, heavy tools. Let's put these guys on. There's no point change there, as they're all the same, but those are significant. significant. No, they aren't. I thought they were. Ah, oh. same range. So it's eleven hundred range. Ah, uh, one that when they hit, it's better. So eh. that work, I guess. Oh, the heavy quads. This is actually what I was kind of looking for. So we'll do. We'll put the heavy quads on the on these front facing ones. Because there's four available, so we'll put those in there. They look like they're front facing. Oh, they're 360s actually. Okay. So these all uh, auto fire. That alternating, alternating. Those guys on their own group. And these are the point defense stuff. Does that work? Yeah. There. Basically get as much alternating as we can, except point defense is a big deal. Missiles go out all at the same time. That work. Okay, and this guy who lost his job because his ship got retired. Oh, Stormbearer. Okay, so you go up here and there. Okay, so we need to find some more uh, captains still. We need some more carrier people. Wow, there you go. Repair. Very nice administrator we don't need. Crew and stuff. So current crew is 8100 of 76. We got lots of Marines. Storage, stuff in storage. What's this? Separatist weapon blueprint package. 
Hmm, where'd they get that from? Did I sell that to him? I already know all of them. It's not a big deal. Oh, this is my storage, that's why. It's my storage. This efficiency overhaul, overlay, whatever it is. Market. Set there. Okay, so crew. I'll pick up a couple hundred more because we tend to lose a lot of crew because of all the fighters we run. Yeah, you know, I don't know what's happening there. <sighs> okay, so we are currently at war with everybody, though so we can do pretty much whatever we want. Question is, where do we want to go? New stuff. So we have a pirate raid against the New Republic. Don't care. <clears throat> Did Gimpy sell it to his storage? No. See? Fun knows. You can survey world smugglers. Trading fleet. Um, important stuff. Oh, this guy is way down there. We need to talk to him. See if he can give us more missions for the Empire. I don't know what the advantage of doing that is. Ah, oh, here we go. Invasion. So they're going after that planet up there. It's not that far away. 39 days until arrival. Now oh, there's a public station and there we go. Take that out. Oh, we have an officer ready to be uh, promoted. Steady range specialization works for me. So gunship type person, right? Let's see, you are target analysis, point defense. Now that's Tarkus. This is Vukul's up there. These are the victories. It's me. Um, I guess throw them in one of the Marauders for now. You. Mentor. Aggressive. Okay, so he's got the range specialization, so ballistic and energy weapons deal up to 30% more damage at long range. Probably not going to get that in the, the Marauder, though. What do we have on these guys? Heavy dual tubular lasers. Yeah, I'd probably be better off than actually one of these. The Marauders aren't exactly known for the long-range uh, lasers. Missiles, sure, but not lasers. That's time for another ISD. Well, yeah. Oh, and also last week you had the battle course on. <laughs> that took about an hour. It was like 45, 45 minutes, an hour long, of just fighting the... Uh, to save Coruscant from a rebel invasion. That bunch of shit. It was a long fight. It was fun. Though. It was fun. Uh, let's see. Well, we got some little bit of time to kill, so we're going to take a look at uh, Kuat, see if kind of ships they have for sale up there. Dun, 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 dun. Memorial Beacon. Okay. So if, see if Kuat actually has something to, uh, you know, take. Buy. Unidentified. Uh, smugglers. Dirty smugglers. Hey, another month has gone by. We uh, lost money, did we? We are currently losing money. Wow, our commission did not pay for our stuff. Hmm. Need something to make us some money. Q 
Okay, so there's a victory. We don't need another victory. There's the allegiance for 1 million. Interdictor for 800,000. Allegiance is a nice ship, though. Straight up gunship. Thing is, I don't have the pieces and parts to the outfit it. I guess we can find out. Do we have an auto fit? Yes. Okay, reinforced bulkheads. Yes, flux distributor. Not right now. Gonna build in that though. Get some points back. Trim some of these points down for now, just so we can have some other stuff to put in there. Okay, so we also want. Reflector shield, hyperdrive, Kyber's crystal focus, increase the range, damage dealt by energy weapons by 10% and range by 20. Definitely want that. And we'll build in the 20 pointers. Get all those points back. Your new ship. I don't know about your new ship. This might be my new ship. Oh, look. Sphere, spherical ion cannons. These are the dorsal ion cannons now. They, he changed them around. The dorsals don't exist, and I think they're replaced by these, because these look pretty much the same. Quad turbo lasers. For point defense. So this thing's all kind of fitted out. Alternating, alternating, alternating. So the ion cams, we're going to put you guys all over here. Yes, big ions are always good. They are. So heavy quad turbos. Wow. Look at even more. Not so many here. Ah, we're short one quad. That's wrong. I don't have anybody in five. So put you guys in five. Alternating. So everybody's in a firing group, right? Okay. So we just have this one odd laser cannon out there somewhere. Oops, shit. Ah, oh, we do have more quads out there. We just have to find this one. The regular laser cannon. Where are you hiding? Could be anywhere. Oh, we got empty spots. Hey, bag of water. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. I'm good. So where is that regular laser cannon? There he is. Wow, there's a couple of different empties for some reason. I think we found those, huh? Okay, so that one goes there, and that one goes there. So these are spherical ion cannons up top, shooting everything in front, as far as these go. 
So quad turbo lasers, we want to place them with something really good. So the quad turbos, these guys only do 125 damage. That tuples do 200 damage. Let's do 273, the heavy duels, only one of those though. Twin long range ion cannon batteries. It's 188. Only have one octuple? Oh, we have six. I'll put these guys up here. It's a little bit of firepower. So the octuple ended up where? In which group? Oh, we've got a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five. That one's on the side. That one's. That one's there. Oh, these are all on the same side. How'd that happen? How'd they all end up on the same side? Huh. So they're all over on this side. We need to switch those around. So is that six? Because I don't think we have enough uh, other octuples here. We got that one. So we put heavy quads here instead. Dun, dun, dun. Of course, now we don't have any more heavy quads. Mm hmm. There's an octuple. Oh, we got one more heavy quads over here, so we can put that one there. I think what we're going to end up doing here is... A bit higher. Yeah, it's administrator. No. We're going to go take a, a look at uh, Kuat itself, see what they have. They might have enough uh, other stuff to get that done. So I'm trying to put, what is it? Two heavy quads. Oh, there we go. So the heavy quads are actually technically better. They're just not as common. So heavy quads there. Not tuples. So this is just a... Uh, Where I put those? I'm sure we did uh, some heavy quads up there too. Oh, that's supposed to be on the ion cannon stuff. You guys get your own group. That's the point defense stuff. Point defense is six. The ion cannons are seven. So these guys need to go with... Uh, Oh, these guys here, so. That goes there. 
there. These guys go there. Again, ion cannons, these guys, these quad turbos are up on the nose, it looks like. Tuples. So they must be down there. There we go. So you want to make these in the heavy quads. Yep, that'll work. Okay. So. <laughs> All that powerful DACA. Yes, yeah, so much DACA. So what else do we want to put on this thing? We've got a bunch, a bunch of points to play around with. So we've got the Kyber Crystals, Deflector Shields, Reinforced Bulkheads, Hyperdrive. Oh, do we have Heavy Armor yet? We do. So Heavy Armor. Damn it. That should make that a permanent one. That's 40 points. Droids? Increase engine weapon repair speed, blah, 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 blah. Decrease the amount of time the ship uh, remains disabled by 50%, increases combat CR recovery and repair rate by 25%. So basically repairs faster. Gets ready for combat faster. Droids. That. Tractor beam for ramming other ships while docking them. I, does it, I don't think this has a tractor beam, does it? No, we need more crew. What's its special thing? Concentrate fire. No. So, no tractor beam. Okay, now we need more crew. We are short 200 people. So, we'll hire a thousand. Because, you know, we don't have enough crew. Supply wise, meeting up lots of supplies, so we need to repair. Okay, I think that might be okay. Sometimes outnumbered, but never outgunned. Oh, definitely not outgunned. Welcome back, Alderaan. Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys. We have the K. We have the K wings. We want actual interdictor bombers. <clears throat> Of course, there's three, which is what we need. At least two, at least. Like that. So this is uh, so two interdictor bombers and defenders on the star destroyer. Victories are interdictors and defenders. Yep, yep. Aren't we overgunned? No. No. So now the question is, is do I want to run this ship or do we want Vukuls to run this ship? Vukuls does have... Does he? No, oh, Vukuls is not better skilled at me than me. We have the same stuff. Oh no, wait, you have the range specialization. So you're lucky you have this Vukuls and I don't have it yet. You're lucky. If I had the range one, I would be taking this, so you're so lucky. So now we need uh, the new guy to go in that one, instead of being in this, new guy goes up there. Okay, so, oops, I'm quite done. Hello all my everyone, supplies. my name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, Please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Saturday. So our next mission now is to go over to the system to the next to the left of us or west, whatever. And uh, there's a. Um, There's a rebel station in there we're going to disable or take, whatever. Vast Ruins location. I don't need another victory. Dun, dun. 
Hey, Freyar, welcome to the stream. Uh. So where are we actually going? Mass station. Put a lot of time in this game. You need to. <laughs> yeah, once you start, you will definitely put a lot of time into it. It's one of those games. Okay. So, com directory. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. That's what I wanted. Move it higher. Military options. It's only a gate. Engage the gate. Continue into battle because we can. Here, we'll just bring in these guys and new guy for experience. I think this will be enough. And I think Aldrain meant to say bottomless pit. Yeah, bottoms. Arf. There's no Arf. Okay, send it in the fighters. Oh yeah, I forgot. I actually have to shoot on this thing. So I don't think this is uh, too hard. All excessive thermal energy in a focused location that cause the disruption of shields and metallic surfaces. Yep, that'll work. How are you zoomed at? There's a little... You can modify the settings file. Here, I'll tell you in a second. Do we want to invade? see if we can do a raid here. 99% ship equipment. You know what? I need supplies. I need supplies that they want to give me. Okay, we lost 22 marines. Not too horrible. More importantly, pick up a thousand supplies there. And other military options. We don't need to bomb them. No, it's actually not a bomb. It's, um, what file name is it? Yeah, it's somewhere. Settings. It's in the settings file. It's uh, you find it, I think, in the base directory. I think that's where it is. And there's something about zoom level in it somewhere. Where is it? This, there's a lot of stuff in the setting, so it's a matter of just finding something about zoom level, I think. Sorry, looking, 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 looking. Where is this? 
This would be this hard to find. Ah. Huh. You're looking for um for the the name of it is the Min and Max Combat Zoom. Min Combat Zoom I think is zero point five. And uh Max Combat Zoom I have at four point oh. You can actually do the same thing on your campaign map too, if the settings are just below that one. Okay, so we're going to wait a day, and then we're going to uh, take a station. No, no, no problem. So we're waiting for August 11th. Again. And we'll go in and uh, actually control this. So military options. Okay, 99%. Asian, and we'll give us to the Empire, so no big deal. Spoils. This is all the stuff we didn't get in the raid. Which, you know, paying the bills. Which we can do now. <laughs> so you take it over and then you sell the stuff that you just got. Okay. So, okay, so there's a little bit of money. Mining fleet. Okay. Oh, and then the. No, so that's where the Republic is based. Uh, yeah, that's where the old Republic is based out of, right down there. They are going to be here when? Only five days until arrival. So they're on their way. Just gonna be here for a while. I don't wanna wait though. Created the defenses of Asian Space Force are outmatched and its ground forces are evenly matched. Invasion is likely to be defeated in orbit. I guess that's okay. okay this guy we wanna go talk to. So you can give us missions and stuff to do, and we need the money. And that's where we're going. No, we that's independent. Where is it done? Planet is beyond. Oh, Surgat. Sure, Surgat sure, is that one. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, go fly all the way down there and then uh, take that station just so we can talk to that guy in peace. <laughs> so. And hopefully he has some decent missions for us to do that will give us a little bit more money. Because right now we're kind of hurting on income. Okay, jumping. Jump should be good. Okay. Should be it. That's where we're going. Okay, so again, we're in here to uh, take this uh, planet back for the Empire, so that, uh, let's think about this for a second. Trading fleet, special task force. What are these guys? Oh, they're pursuing us. Stay away from that station for now. These guys are going to take no problem. Okay, so it's going to put the allegiance uh, to the test here. It should be fine, I would think. And let's engage. Victories. Bring a couple of victories. Bring in these guys for the fighter support. You can never have enough fighters, so I'm told. So this goes. Okay, so as always, you guys escort the bigger ships. And 
we go. Have you run into that new Rebel Carrier? I think it's much better than the Vendor. The new Rebel Carrier. Um, what's its name? I don't think so. Gonna slow down here a little bit. Let them get a little bit uh, stretched out. Usually, the way it works. Okay, let's go get them. Explosions for him. So I don't think they're as tough as they thought they were. Is this holding strong? No. I'll go back, Jeff. No. They're not holding strong at all. Are they supposed to be a big ship? Um, they came after me, so I don't think their fleet was as strong as they thought it was. guys are... I forget what these are. Too far. Yeah, I would like to be able to play the Star Wars music, but unfortunately it gets, uh, gets you dinged on YouTube and on Twitch and stuff, so not a good idea. Wish I could, but... Play it in on YouTube in the background. Hey, you can do that. Okay, so these are their civilian ships trying to run away. Shall engage? Nope. We got those guys. Are they trying to retreat? They are not trying to retreat. Need more missiles. Just, just do that in your head. It'll work. Okay, I see this guy. See, the little frigates charging in, and all the damage we still have to repair. Ugh, take a few months there. Oops. 
he's not doing as well as I thought he was going to do over there. He's going to blow up. <laughs> he got torn up there. Kind of the real missiles there. I think we need no more torpedoes on these things. Is that frigate charge wise? No, he's kind of stupid. So all those guys trying to run away, we shall pursue them. We'll send in ghouls. Let him take care of them. And they all died. Oh, we lost another ship. Oh, no, this is the one we start to recover. So you. We don't care about the others. Stuff. Called a Proclamator. Class Star Frigate. 13 small, 18 medium. 4 fighter base, 1500 tall. It's pretty decent. That's like Star Destroyer size. I think we... I think I used that in the last run. Maybe. 13 small... Yeah, that's like Star Destroyer size. Hey, come on, welcome back. Why are taking so long? Yeah, so we need a day or two to recover, and then we'll do what we need to do. How about that? Is that better? I think that's better. Yeah, OBS uh, had a brain fart there. Dun, 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 dun. Good thing I didn't do anything important while that happened. I was just about to. Anyway, so uh, this is this is us. We're ready to fight. And we're fighting against all these wimpy guys. So, let's kill them. Good enough. Rebel, yeah, the Rebels definitely did it. Rebels did it. They act like they're all nice and innocent, but they're not. Thing can follow that. No. Expect collisions because drunk Imperial pilots. I 
they shoot it. Oh, that's right. There's a minefield here, isn't there? Shooting that back there. Stop, stop, stop. Back up. Dummy. Fighters are getting annihilated, but that's okay. Got to clear all this junk that's in the way. Kind of hard to shoot the station when it's got all the pieces and parts floating in front of us. Where you feel is half cover, yeah. Temporarily half cover. Oh, we have a friendly here. This is a friendly problem. Alright, slowing down to park in front of the station here. And shoot it to death, maybe. No, it's not a lot of flux. It's, uh... This is why we're doing the Star Wars factions. <laughs> Only, for the most part, because it's a little bit more fair. I think we won. Tiny little ships. Fair for who? Not them. Can we be sure? Well, as soon as this guy di dies, I'm pretty sure we'll be winning. See? Just like that. Okay, so who's trying to get away? Those guys are trying to get away and we'll pursue them. That's Vu Cruz's job to chase them down and kill them. Use these guys. We'll do a support. And not that one. And three still managed to get away. Don't want that. So much wreckage. What was the last official Star Wars strategy game? Last official Star Wars strategy game. Empire at War? Yeah, I think Empire at War was the last one. That was a while back. Now the Federation knows where we are. They'll get they'll they'll figure it out eventually, maybe. We don't need 
those. What's that? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, there's mods for the Empire at War. So that make it a little bit more not with the, the planetary invasion stuff, which makes it better. Okay, comm directory. Anybody want to join me? Oh, this guy we need to talk to. Do you have any work for me? Uh, domestic goods procurement. I require 560 units. Decline that one. The old freighter. This freighter is some uh, light years, but it'll fly. Uh, it would be a waste of simply scrap it. Uh, I can sell it to you for sure. We're just going to scrap this, by the way. So what we're trying to do is up our relationship with him. That should hopefully get us better missions and stuff. I hope. And right now. Do we have any domestic goods on? Oh, that's right. I sold all that stuff. Well, let's see if we can pull some domestic goods out of this invasion. <laughs> so... Uh, military options. This is it. Try to acquire valuables. Ooh, a pristine Anna Forge. Take that. And you know what? I think this is a. This is actually technically an Empire planet. I think we can get Empire blueprints off of this thing. 90% chance of raid effectiveness. We lost 250, or 282 Marines. And we got the Manana Forge, though. So we never one of those. So that makes two. And now we're going to uh, wait a day and see if we can get some blueprints. High Fighter is still the strat best strategy game, Vukuls? Okay. It's actually already been done, Vukuls. I've, I've actually played it. It's pretty good. It's actually already done. Well, it's well, I guess it's still technically being worked on, but it's pretty good. That Star Wars game period? Uh, I don't know. It's up there for sure, but I don't know if it's the best. It's definitely top three for sure. I don't know if it's the best. Okay, another raid. 89%. Charge card valuables and stuff. We want blueprints this time. Oh, we don't need to do everybody. Um, was it domestic goods he wanted? I think it was domestic goods the guy wanted, so we'll take those too. And we lost 252 Marines again. Blueprints. Oh, droid wings. Droid. Now oh, we're getting droid stuff here. This sucks. I don't want droid stuff. This isn't us. Is this a CIS planet? Oh, it is. Damn. Oh, well. We don't need to bomb it. We're just going to... Actually, we don't even need to take it. But we're going to anyway, because we're here. It's stealing? It's not stealing if they fight, fight you. Wait, we're ready. Okay, September 1st. So we lost 74,000 again. Rebellion Surgat is over. Ah! <laughs> Empire Lib... The, there's a rebellion on this planet and it's been liberated. So we didn't actually have to fight for this. Ah... <laughs> uh. All that stuff. Droids. 
things we don't need, hanging in a class we don't need, don't need those. Tie interdictors. Oh, I was looking for those, wasn't I? Swarmer, Salamander, Sabal, Blaster. So this is all junk. Oh, concussion missile. We didn't want to sell that. Iron Pulse, like machine guns, like assaults, like dual, like mortar. Medium laser cannon. Medium laser cannon that uh, commonly found a Republic Starfighter like the ARC-170. Hold on to that. Okay, the stuff we hold on to. There's a little money. Okay, so domestic goods. Does our little contact here still want to do domestic goods? Yes, he does. How many does he want? 590 units total. Surplus food. 1,400 for... Oh, wait a minute. I require... Uh, well, we come out to... He squints this drive out. 1,400 units of food named per unit. If you could help me clear out this uh, warehouse, do me a real favor. Your fleet's cold, calm, blah, 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 blah. Total price is 12,000. You have... Sure. He went 590 for those. So now we have the food that we can sell. He sold it to us for like, what, five? So we'll sell it to them for 11. And then domestic goods. I don't think this is enough. That's yeah, a lot. We have to get uh, 140 more. And supplies, we're doing well. Crew. I'm worried about 700 over. I'll pick up some more Marines while we're here. And pick up the crew too. Military, more Marines. Integrated point defense AI, don't care. Advanced optics, blah. Black market. Oh, look at all those Marines we can hire. So we're up over two grand on Marines again. Okay. Now the interdictors. So we did have those. Oh, the oppressor. Okay. So we replaced our K wings. Because again, we're trying to stick to the whole Empire thing. So TIE fighters for fighters, no X wings and that kind of crap. Yeah, looks like we're doing pretty good. Okay. Oh, that thing we want to sell. Because we don't need it. Oof. <laughs> Definitely not uh, what we paid for. The Empire doesn't liberate stuff? No, it, it takes it. Or it procures it in the name of the Emperor. No, they procure it. They don't borrow it. They don't liberate it. They pure procure it. But which start did I go with? What? Which start did you go with? I don't understand the question. Okay, so that... Oh, I like how the Imperial One is worth... Oh, sorry, that's not the Imperial One. Let's say Allegiance. Oh, that reminds me. What can we buy here? Aw. Junk ships. Nothing good. Nothing, at least nothing we want. Action 6 uh, Freighter? I don't think we've seen these before. Suffered extensive damage. Action 6 Transport, sometimes referred to as the Bulk Transport and a Modified Action Transport. It's popular uh, failed by the Corellian Engineering Corporation. Yeah, it's not bad freighter. 
It's only what? It's a frigate. Pretty decent uh, cargo space for a frigate. Which Star Sector, Star Wars start for this playthrough? Oh, it's only the Star Wars factions plus uh, Independence Pirates and Ludic Path. Okay. Um, let me find some more domesticated goods. The Independence will have them. Oh, I leveled up. You told me that. Okay, so this is systems expertise, service of blah, blah, piloted ship, missile specialization. I don't have any missiles. System, blah, 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 system has charge. If the sy ship system has range, plus 50%, it has a cooldown. If the ship system has charges, plus one to charge. Systems uh, regenerate charges. What are charges exactly? <laughs> we don't run into them here, so we'll take the missile stuff, get that out of the way. And move on. Salvage this thing over here. All those parts. So there's another. Yeah, we'll take this out. See if any domestic goods worth raiding down here. I just didn't see that. Anyway, happy Saturday, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out and watching. Hope you have a good weekend so far. And we are currently beating up on the CIS in the system to uh, to make the um, the Empire like us that much more. But they already love us. So it's not a big deal. Raid. 87%. Another pristine Nano Forge. They're so nice to us. And domesticated goods. Or domestic goods. It's not domesticated. Now we're collecting domestic goods for a potential uh, mission uh, for a imp imperial agent or contact, not agent, contact. Okay, I lost 326 marines. That was harsh. But we got enough domestic, domestic goods to do the job here. So I'm going to kill the gate. Let's just bring in the victories. This should be fine. Hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? Yes. If not, you really should. But I just said I did. She never listens to me. She complains about me not listening to her, but she never listens to me either. Trying to shoot the fighters and shoot the station. Shooting me, make him stop. I think we brought too many ships. Just a man, your voice is not important enough to be he to be heard. Oh, I see how it is. Look stuff. So let's uh, Oh, this is the Interceptor. No, it's just a regular crappy TIE Fighter. 
Okay. I'm just going to leave here and the Empire wants to take this planet. They're more than free to. Meantime, we're going to go back to Surgat and go talk to the agent. Or con contact. Not agent. Contact. So we can uh, give him these domestic domestic goods to up our rep with him. Let's see how that goes. Got all the fighting that's been going on over here. Okay, com directory. You. We work. Domestic goods. What's? Oh, we want six fifty now. I thought it was five forty, but okay. I'll pay you over market value one hundred per unit. Accept. Okay. So we'll talk to him again. Go to the goods and sixty-five thousand for that. Not too bad since we pretty much acquired most of it by, uh, you know, raiding. Emperor's hand? Who? No, he's not the emperor's hand. He's just a regular person. He's a citizen. Uh, blah blah blah. He doesn't have to work for me now. And yeah, there's nobody worth hiring. Trade good stuff. Sell the metal. Regular TIE fighters. More Marines. Crew, we are good on crew for a while. We went through way too many Marines doing raids and whatever. We want to get up to like 2,000 or so. I guess we can sell some of this heavy machinery. We don't need 600. Okay. And ship one is buying. Nothing worth it here. We don't have the money anyway. We're broke. Okay, man of military offering bounties. I can handle a more challenging target. 140,000. 16 light years away. No problem. 120 days. Cyber mock jack. Ja uh, cyber blah blah jack. So. Codes. Uh, we don't need codes for rating planets. Okay. I am killing stuff for money. That's what the bounty is for. There's a pirate contact we don't want to do. Oh, they're still doing this. Oh, that's right. We don't have to worry about that. They've got that under control. Bounty. Okay, yeah, system blah, blah, blah. Target is located in the Zeta star system. Bounty contains partial. Oh, look at that. We're going to roll those guys with one ship. Barely touched the edge of the star there. Off we go. Jump. Get that jump out of this. Might get a little surveying up here too, because I don't think there's any active. This isn't an active system, more than likely. Or, sorry, inhabited system. Oh, we haven't surveyed it yet, so. A couple of planets. Okay, so the guys are looking for us, probably them right below us. What do you know? Hey, how's it going? Comlink. We follow the way of blood and admits persecution. Yeah, the righteous will suffer the lash and our reward will be everlasting grace. Yeah, you think so. 
So how many ships do we bring? One, two. I think this will be overkill. Pretty sure this will be overkill. Hell, our squadrons could probably kill most of them. Three? No. <laughs> Their ships are so beat up. Like I said, our fighters are probably enough to kill most of them. Hey, Greg. No, it does not anticipate the Wrath of the Righteous. Coming to computers near you on September 2nd. Specifically this computer. I didn't rename my Star Destroyer to the Wrath of the Righteous. Or, no, we'll, we'll rename their allegiance to that. Somebody remind me if I don't do that and we get out of combat. Oh, look, they're trying to get away. Fukuoka's his job, give him some frigates to uh, deal with them. And he still got away. How? I don't know. That. Salvage, salvage, salvage. He's doing a free... Oh, that's right. I, I saw that, too. It's on Steam, right? I don't think you get... Do you get... You don't get the game for free. You just get to play it for free on the weekend. Which is just... That's just basically a big teaser. So Path Pathfinder Keymaker is currently free on Steam, I think, this weekend. It, to play. Again, not to keep, I think just to play it this weekend. Again, it's a teaser to get you to buy Wrath of the Righteous when it comes out on Thursday. I think. I think that's their plan. Imperial Mary, ugh. Just short. There we go. It's a tarp. It's definitely a tarp. Oh, it's it's a promotional thing for sure. Again, it's a, a just a way to tease people to uh, go. Oh, if it's if this game is this good, we should probably get Wrath of the Righteous too. That's what that's what they're going for. Anyway, so uh, that bounty, paying some of the bills. Look at these guys down here. Yeah, those are the ones got away. Okay, so let's uh, survey some of these planets that might be decent. Barren, rocky, unstable, rocky, metallic. Oh, a Buddhic path are around here somewhere. Check these, these guys out. That might be something over there in the asteroid field. Probably not, but it could be there. So there's a rebellion on Mesh, mesh? Station. Survey. Big gas giant. Plants suck. Right, we'll go take a look at these asteroids, see if there's anything interesting in there. 
the system overall is not good, so that would explain why nobody's really here. Although, again, Ludic Path looks like they might be somewhere here. Uh oh, Vengeance Fleet, level one. Looking for me. I'm sure they'll find me, no problem. There we go. Why? Because we can. There. This is giving these talk to me real quick, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, military options. Um, not your raid. Let's see if this ninety-seven percent supplies. They don't have a lot of supplies here. <laughs> not a lot of supplies at all. Oh, wait a minute. That'll work. Charade. Lost 53 Marines. More importantly, pick up all these supplies to pay for the trip, basically. That works. And military options. Engage the station and all these friends. No, nothing about Scott. Mrs. Skimpy's going to visit her mom, so. These guys, and these guys, and those guys. Sending my fighters up off to that node up there. Yeah, so we're just going to mark these for death. We don't have a lot of fighters, but... We have enough. Should be enough to beat them up a little bit. Oh, my! all my fighters are dead. They must have some uh, point defense there. Actually, all our fighters are dead. <laughs> That didn't go so well. I guess I should slow down so I don't get uh, right on top of this thing. Parts are starting to blow up. Okay, Rupos, look, you can take on all those guys all by yourself, no problem. Oh, you're not by yourself, though, you got back up. Never mind. Is he dead yet? Mostly dead. And stations out. Oh. I say that thing didn't really look like it was alive. Kill it already. 
Okay, that should be it. Okay. Junk. So much junk. Okay, so that was a looting path thing. There was no bounty for that, but picked up a little bit of money for it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, um, next. Let's see what's in this area. I guess I should go looking for um, some planets to uh, colonize, maybe? Yellows and oranges. Systems is our best chances. There's a number of oranges here. So let's go check this one out. Go see what we can find. Survey wise. Oops. Oh well, salvage. Somebody else can get that. I don't need it. Much. Oh, we got uh, over 4,000 supplies, plenty of fuel. Now we don't have the best surveying, though. Actually, can I put survey equipment on some of our civilian stuff in space while we're out here floating around? Like you. Surveying equipment got to be a docked. Damn it. Oh well. A long flight. A trip. It's time for. Oh, that's right. It's break time, isn't it? Or it's coming up. Veronica's got a little bit of a late start, so give her another minute or so. Remnants. Space lobsters. It's like a barren world and an irradiated world. Looks like we got some stuff over here, though. Mining station. Stable location. We'll survey the planet first. That. No, 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 we don't want to colonize it. Not this mining station, though. It's like going to Las Vegas and winning on a slot machine. Somehow, I don't think we're going to have enough room for all this, though. It's a lot of ore. It's Hello, a Gimpy. really a lot of ore. Time to take a break. See? Go get some more water while you are up. Okay. Your next break is in two hours. Dum, 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 dum. Yes, yeah, so this is a lot of ore. Here, I'll we'll just speed that up a little bit. And high resolution sensors. Oh, look, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> my my cargo bay. We were at like fifty percent full, and now we're like almost one hundred percent over, <laughs> more than one hundred percent over. <laughs> so we don't need all that. Let's see what other kind of stuff we can find here. I'm mainly looking here. Oh, Battle Droid ship crews. <gasps> it places ship crews with. B1 battle droids uh, reduces uh, ship crew's man requirement by 10, 100%. So we could uh, get rid of all our crew for robots. Look at the supply cache. That and ditch more ore. Okay. So. Well, it stopped. Well, I stopped it because it was going to be a while. <laughs> it was going to be a while. Okay, so I'm going to take a break. And uh, before I do that, then we're going to get the scout uh, guesstimation up and running here. Give me a minute. Again, this is all about uh, guesstimating whether scout has been seen in the past 24 hours or not. 
For those of you who don't know what the hell Scout is, Scout is a cat that lives here in our complex. She's not a stray. She does have a home. In fact, Mrs. Gimpy ran into her owners earlier today. Scout was not there, though. Or that she wasn't following. She did, Scout doesn't follow her own owners, which is hilarious. She follows Mrs. Gimpy around on dog walks and whatever, but she doesn't follow her own owners. But that's because they have a big German Shepherd that uh, apparently doesn't like Scout, and Scout doesn't like it. So that's why Scout is so uh, frequently outdoors. Well, she was outdoors before that dog even showed up, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, Scout is, uh, like I said, she adopted Mrs. Gimpy about two, two and a half years ago. And as a result, she uh, follows Miss Skimpy around on dog walks, as I just said. She shows up on her porch or inside her condo from time to time looking for food. She's not supposed to be in her condo, but somehow through some miraculous event, our front door opens up and she walks in. I have no idea how it happens. Mrs. Gimpy doesn't either. Well, I know how it happens, but Mrs. Gimpy has no idea how the door opens by itself and the cat comes in. She just has no clue how that happens. But anyway... Every day at approximately noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT, we guesstimate has Scout been seen in the last uh, 24 hours or not. And your choices are yep or nope. And uh, let's see, to help you with your prediction, she has been seen the past 19 days in a row, which is her current record. The record before was 16, so 16 days. Now she's up to 19 days. So the question now is, will it continue to 20 days or does it come to a crashing end? Who knows? But we'll find out here in roughly five minutes after I get back from our break. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to predict. Again, this is all for fun. And I will be back shortly. Thanks for watching.